Alrighty, Year 10, uh, welcome to the Science Lab again. Uh, you guys aren't here, but I'm here uh, presenting to you guys. We're actually going to do a practical via online. It's just the magic of the internet that, uh, that's coming to you today. Um, what I've got set up here are three lots of what's called ticker timers. Now I'll explain a little bit about ticker timers in a second. But what we really are looking at trying to do today is explore those concepts that we talked about, displacement, speed, velocity, acceleration, all those. We're going to put them together and we're going to see how in the real world, well, this isn't really the real world, these are just uh, make-believe physics things that we have down here, but uh, we're going to see how those concepts that we talked about actually happen. So this ticker timer here, You'll see when I turn this on, it's connected to a power source. When I turn this on, you'll hear a crazy vibration sound. What's happening there is this little uh, tapper is tapping 50 times a second. Uh, pretty quick. And what's happening is there's a little bit of carbon paper here and it puts dots. It puts 50 dots per second uh, onto this piece of paper. And you'll see in a second that if I pull this paper through, or if the paper comes through somehow, the dots will appear in regular 50, 1 50th of a second intervals along the paper. So what we're going to do for this experiment is we're going to do one ticker timer where I try and pull this through at fairly constant speed. One here where I'm going to drop a weight to the ground, and then we're going to see what gravity does to uh, the ticker tape, and then a third one over here, we're going to push this cart along, and friction is the force this time that's going to decelerate the cart. So hopefully we're going to see constant speed, acceleration, and then deceleration over here. So, without further ado... All right, and we can see here what the uh, ticker tape and ticker timer does. We get these dots spaced out on the ticker tape. Brilliant. All right, so I'm just going to leave this over here for later use. It's like one of those cooking shows where they, uh, we'll come back to that later. Now what we're going to do is rather than me pulling at constant speed, we're going to set up another ticker timer. I'll get rid of my ruler. Turn this one on. And now I'm going to drop this weight. And this time, hopefully something oh, useful has happened. This time we see our dots again with a little bit different spacing. So this is our second ticket tape. We'll leave it here and we'll leave the mass attached to it so we know which one that is. Third thing, you guys know what's happening by now. We're going to do another... I'm going to give this a push. Now we're going to get another set of results. All right. So you might ask, why has Mr. Govan been walking around the classroom doing these ticket timer experiments? What's the point? What are we going to do? <clears throat> Hopefully now, what we've got are three sets of ticker tapes. One of these is going to show constant speed because I tried to pull it through with fairly constant speed. The second one is going to show acceleration because gravity is a force that accelerates downwards and then this final one is hopefully going to show deceleration because I push the cart and friction is slowing the cart down as the dots go through. Now in order to show this result what we need to do is we need to be able to graph it. Um, in order to get our graph I'm going to grab a ruler from over here And 
And now up against these dots, I'm gonna pick one of these dots. I'm gonna pick this one right here. And you can see that I'm putting that dot about at zero on my ruler. If I can. And then we can see at the start here, if I look at the spacing in between these two dots, hopefully you guys can see that the first dot lies at about 1.1 centimeters. If you can't see that very well, I'll make sure to get a proper photo of this to you guys, but hopefully it'll show up all right on video. Um, so now, if we go up to the board, what I'm gonna do for my first constant speed graph is I'm gonna say the first dot after zero, the first dot was at one, and then I need to add 0.1, because it was at 1.1 centimeters. 1.1 for the first dot. And you can see here on my axes, I have displacement. This is what we're talking about. And in this case, displacement and distance are basically gonna be the same thing because we're just traveling in a straight line. And down here is time, which I've called dots. Because every single one of these dots is going to be 1 50th of a second. All right. Now what we need to do, and I should have uh, organized this better, is I need to go back all the way to the back of the classroom. Now I look at my second dot, and my second dot is at 2.3 centimeters, or 2.4 centimeters, I'll call it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to on my graph, dot number two is at 2.4 centimeters. All right, and I'm gonna keep going back, have a look at the next dot along, the next dot along, and I wanna do 15 dots. And we're gonna keep putting, it'll get longer and longer because each dot is gonna be further and further from the start. And we're gonna get something that looks sort of like this, all right? As the dots are going along, our distance or displacement is increasing. And then I put a line through all my dots, a line of best fit. And hopefully it'll look something like this. But what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get you guys to do this process three times for each of the ticker tapes. So I'll leave a picture at the end of this video of the three ticker tapes with a ruler next to them. And you just need to read off the reading of the ruler for each dot and do 15 dots on a graph. And then hopefully you'll get three different lines representing one representing constant speed, one representing acceleration where we use gravity and one representing deceleration where we used the uh, cart and friction. So hop to it, I guess. <laughs>